All right, so we are going to be looking at the product property of exponents. Quick review on what exponents are or powers. A power has an exponent. In this case, it's a 5, and the base is a 1 half. So this is saying you have 5 1 halves being multiplied, or 5 factors of 1 half. So another way of saying this, in this case, we're looking at b to the x power. We have x factors of b. Or another way of saying that is we have x amount or x number of b's all being multiplied. So again, things being multiplied are called factors. Let's look at an example here. Um, so here we have 6 to the second power or 6 squared times 6 cubed or 6 to the third power. So this first part is saying two factors of 6 or two 6's being multiplied. So it's a 6 times another 6. So there we have two 6's being multiplied times now we're going to have three sixes being multiplied. So that's going to be a six times a six times a six. So there's three sixes being multiplied. So now we look at the total number of sixes being multiplied. We have one, two, three, four, five, five sixes being multiplied. So again, that's going to be five sixes being multiplied. Let's look at another example here. We have b to the fifth power times b to the third power. So this first part here, that's going to be five b's being multiplied. Here we go. We got one, two, three, four, five b's being multiplied times. And now we have b cubed. That's going to be three b's being multiplied. One, two, three b's being multiplied. So now for our simplified way of writing this, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight b's being multiplied all together. So you can probably find out by now that there is a shortcut. We're basically just adding the exponents. As long as we have the same base, in this case b and b, we can just add we have 5 b's being multiplied and another 3 b's being multiplied for a total of 8 b's being multiplied by just adding the exponents. So now looking at the way this looks like, like when it's formally written out, um, if we have the same base, same base, then we're going to add the exponents when we're multiplying our powers. Okay, so that's the way we, we kind of say it out loud. Now, if you're looking at like a number example, this is the, the first one that we did. We're going to have 6 squared times 6 cubed. Well, with this, we it's going to make uh, 6 to the 2 plus 3. So we're adding the exponents up, and that's going to make 6 to the 5th power. And this is the same as the very first example we did. And then just using uh, just algebra type notation, we're going to have b to the m times b to the n. Again, we have the same base. It's b. And so we're going to add the exponents up. So the way it's going to look is b to the m plus n. All right, a couple more examples here. Here we have 4 sevenths to the third power times 4 sevenths to the eighth power. So the total of 4 sevenths being multiplied, 3, and another 8 being multiplied is going to be 11 4 sevenths being multiplied. So again, that the, the, the exponent tells you how many you have, in this case 11, and then the base tells you uh, what you're multiplying together. In this case, they're all 4 sevenths. And another example, 6 to the 6 times x to the fourth power times 2 times x to the fourth power to the third power. Um, now when we go to do these, we are actually using the commutative property. So we're going to be doing the numbers first. So we're rearranging this using the commutative property, 6 times 2 times x to the fourth times x to the third power. So basically, if you're just uh, doing this kind of in your head type of thing, you're going to be doing the number part of the expression first. So 6 and 2, and it's being multiplied. So that's going to make 12. So we're breaking this up into smaller chunks. And now we can look at the variable part. That's x to the fourth times x to the third. So here we have four x's being multiplied times another one, two, three x's being multiplied. So four, five, six, seven x's being multiplied. So that'd be x to the seventh power. So just a real quick reminder on those. Um, if you're multiplying powers, if you have the same base, then you just add the exponents up. And that's all there is to it. All right, hope this helps.